Matthew Sayer, I'm the restaurant manager here at the Wilcox Inn in Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, I am going to show you how to make one of our most uh, famous cocktails here at the restaurant, which is the Parisian. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to go over a couple of the ingredients that we are going to be using today for the Parisian. Uh, the first is 42 Below Vodka, uh, it's from New Zealand. Um, and then we also have a Saint Germain, uh, which is an outer flower liqueur, uh, both uh, really, really great products. Uh, we're also going to be using cranberry juice and fresh sweet lime juice. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start our cocktail. Now the first thing that we want to do is take our martini glass and we want to fill it up with ice. The reason that we do this is because we want to chill the glass. Uh, we don't want to spend all this time making a cocktail and shaking it and then pouring it into a room temperature glass. Uh, if we have a chilled glass, the product will stay colder longer. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and mix our ingredients with our uh, Boston mixing glass. Uh, the way that we do it is we use cheaper products first and then we move to our expensive products. That way if we mess up the cocktail uh, before putting in expensive products, we don't have a, a high waste. Uh, so we're going to be using a jigger is the measuring device here. I'm going to take our fresh squeezed lime juice, which I have here. I'm going to measure half an ounce, and I'm going to pour that into the glass like so. Once we've done that, we're going to add uh, one ounce of our cranberry juice. We just use ocean gray cranberry juice here, which I think is fine. Uh, once we have that, we're going to use our vodka. I'm going to pour a solid two ounces into the glass, like so. And then our Saint Germain, which we're going to be pouring one ounce. Uh, so using a jigger is very important. It ensures consistency for consistency for every cocktail that you make. Um, and I think it's a, a, a very handy thing to have at a, a home bar. So we have all of our ingredients in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our Boston tin, which is what we use to shake, and we're going to fill the glass with as much ice as we can, and then I put an extra scoop into the shaker. Uh, the colder we get the cocktail, uh, the better it's going to taste, the more smoother it will be. Uh, so the more ice you have, the better it's going to be. Quick slap to seal it up, and then you're just going to shake. So once you have a frost on your Boston shaker, like so, you know the cocktail is ready. You're going to be able to release the glass from the tin with a solid little hit with your palm. Once you've done that, you're going to get your strainer. The technical term for these is a Hulk foam strainer. You're going to empty out ice out of the glass and we're going to pour starting from a low point and moving to a high point. That way it creates air bubbles through the cocktail which will give it a nice cloudy appearance. Like so. And then Last but not least, we're going to finish by garnishing our cocktail. Um, here I have a traditional band-aid orange slice garnish. Uh, this is a traditional way to, uh, to garnish your cosmopolitan. So the first step is we're going to heat up the zest. What that does is it brings all the oils up to a temperature where it's combustible and right over the cocktail. And just a nice little wrap around the room and then your cocktail is ready to go.